Oh, welcome to Dive Source Scuba. Uh, this is our segment called Discovering Divers, and today I'm lucky enough to have with me uh, Mayor John Henry from the city of Oshawa, who, if you did not know it, is a scuba diver. Welcome, Mayor hey, Henry. Hey, thank you for inviting me. Thanks for coming out today. Uh, I thought we'd start today with uh, a quiz, if that's okay. So this is uh, something for you, or kind of, some of you people probably won't even know who this is, our younger divers. So. Do you know who this is? That's Jacques Cousteau. Jacques Cousteau, very good. That's one point for the mayor. And we have another one which goes back a little bit before when you got certified, perhaps. Have you seen this gentleman? Lloyd Bridges. Lloyd Bridges, right, from the show Sea Hunt, which is actually probably a little bit before both, both of our times, because this is dated uh, June 1967. And I know we're in that realm and we're around, but I don't think we were actively probably scuba diving at that point. No, not <laughs> at that point, no. So, uh, um, John? Can I uh, ask you how you got started in diving? Do you know, it, it's, part of it is what you just talked about. Um, diving had just got onto, t onto television. Um, it was a very interesting and uh, it always fascinated me. So in, uh, around 1980, I walked into a dive shop in Oshawa and met uh, Alan Curry. Oh uh, yeah, the Curry, yeah. Um, who was, uh, who kind of convinced me that it would be a, a good, a great sport. And of course, you know, Alan at that point had set or been very close to setting the world's underwater endurance record. Yeah, I remember there was something, she had a tank in the Oshawa Center. In the Oshawa Center, yeah, yeah, that's right. I remember, and I remember as a kid seeing this tank in the Oshawa Center, and uh, I, I remember hearing something about this underwater endurance record she was doing. I, I don't know if I'd want to be in a tank with myself for that long. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, in those days, you, you really couldn't talk to anybody, but technology allows you to be able to talk to people and that's interact true. now. That's true, that's true. So outside, in, inside and outside of the water. So today it'd be a little bit different, but I still wouldn't want to do it. No, no, it's a lot of time in with yourself and whatever else is floating around. Um, so from there I heard you uh, became a scuba instructor. So um, Ellen uh, was a great uh, great teacher and, and she saw something in me and, and asked me if I would be interested in, in starting out as uh, working my way towards becoming a diving instructor. So uh, after a few, uh, after a couple of years and, and lots of dives I, I started a program and, and became an advanced open water instructor and then an advanced open water specialty instructor. Nice. And then from that it led me to uh, places all over uh, the Western Hemisphere. Uh, I went to Dima in New Orleans oh, and did you? met some people there and that got me into uh, into dive rescue school so I became a rescue specialist so I went to uh, through that and, uh, and I'm a dive master and a dive control specialist and uh, I've worked with um, and trained with uh, firefighters and uh, police officers and sheriff's officers and Army Corps of Engineers oh, wow. um, in the United States and had a really interesting diving career and now I'm into politics. Well, that's really impressive. Uh, I, I, I'm really impressed with a lot of that. I, I know you said you were an instructor. I didn't know you'd, you'd gone into this many specialties and things. And, and today we see certain designations and, and uh, instructor ratings have changed names, but they're probably uh, good crossovers for all that today. Um, so uh, has it been a little while since you've been diving now? Oh, the last time I was diving was just before my 30th birthday. Uh, family and, and kids come along and then, oh. then a career um, separate from diving. And, and uh, But my goal has always been to share the experience uh, with my daughters. I have two, oh, nice. two daughters. And for those who, who have ever thought about diving, one of the greatest experiences of diving is diving in the Caribbean on a clear night, uh, about 10 feet under underwater looking up at the stars. Yeah. Um, that's the closest that most people will ever get to being in outer space. It is. But, but on, the, on that note too, some of the best diving in the world is in Ontario too. You're right, and thank you for bringing that up. Um, we have terrific shipwreck diving here, and, and that's we're setting up for this summer and getting out to doing some dives in Kingston and Tobermory and Brockville and all these spots where we have all these great shipwrecks. So uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it, it, I know you're you're the mayor of City Oshawa now, and uh, that's quite a responsibility. Um, being a scuba instructor, of course, also has some responsibilities. I'm wondering if you, you see any parallels in what you learned there to might have helped you today. So um, one part, of it, when you reach the instructor level, you're, you, the amount of information that you take in related to emergencies in the water, um, you can carry for the, your entire life. Um, you know, I got into firefighting school because of diving, and, oh, okay. and most people uh, probably don't know, but I went to firefighting school in Baton Rouge, oh. and uh, that was through somebody who I'd met in diving in Colorado, actually, and um, that led me to, to an interesting career, but the ability to stand up in front of a group and, and to speak in public, um, to know your topic are all the skill sets that were taught when I went through the diving program, and and I still carry a lot of that um, as I go forward. You know, risk benefits uh, in diving are the same as risk benefits in, in, for other emergency events too. So, yeah. so it was a an excellent learning experience. I, I got to work with some amazing 
amazing people. Everyone from uh, Dee Scar, who wrote the book called Touch the Sea. Mm -hmm. When I was, uh, I met her when I was diving in Bon Air, when I was looking to become an underwater tour guide in my young days. Ah, okay. <laughs> and uh, to Martin, Dr. Martin Nimroff, who worked with the United States Coast Guard in Alaska, was the first person to uh, resuscitate a person who had been underwater for 60 minutes. Oh, wow. A young man. And um, so I've, it's been a great, through diving, I have met and developed uh, a great life and an amazing career, and it's because of diving I've gotten to where I am. Well, I think that's a good spot for me to just uh, say thank you very much. Um, it, it is inspiring to see that diving can be more than just seeing pretty fish underwater and can give you a little more life skills as well. Well, you know, it's a great opportunity to meet fascinating people and see, uh, see some great places in the world, but the opportunities for young people, whether it's in the business of underwater archaeology, yeah. uh, whether it's in underwater photography, or um, you know, working for a fire service or a police service, um, all involve um, the opportunity to take up diving at a different level. But it's the experience of those bubbles um, yeah. and looking up at a night sky that is the best part of, of what I remember. And uh, when I can share that with my girls, then, then my circle will be complete. Excellent, thank you very much thank for you coming for by taking today. The time. Oh no, I appreciate you dropping by. and. Uh, Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and we hope to uh, see you next time on Discovering Divers with Dive Source. Thank you.